Hello everybody. We are going to talk about uh, stars and shadows today and it all has to do with charging, uh, solar charging. So let's get to it right away. If you're wondering, I know you're wondering why stars and shadows, but it's basically a tip. So let's just go outside and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So here's the back side of my old uh, satellite dish uh, mount. I kind of saved it. It's just one of them old C-band satellite dish mounts. And I have the solar panels, three solar panels on here. But where stars come into, you know, you want to have some good sun tracking and be right on the sun so instead of using a uh, compass or any kind of fancy equipment all you do is when you're setting up your solar tracking is before you mount this wait till the stars are shining at night and put all set all this on your post and then just eyeball through this hole here to the North Star and that will pinpoint north and south and give you some good tracking and then uh, fasten everything down solid and then mount your solar panels so then now we're going to move around to the front And hopefully you can see it. I'm going to back up a little bit and remove the camera. Right here is where the shadows come into. You kind of square this little pin stuck between the two panels try to make it as square as you can and as you can see we're not we're not tracking the sun just yet because the shadow is not right underneath the pin we need to go west and you can see as it goes west the shadow is moving As you can see that uh, we're not exactly with the season. We want to go east a little bit more. Okay. So since the sun is getting farther in the south, what we want to do is drop the uh, panel a little bit more. So all you're going to be doing is loosening these or nuts. And I just grab the actuator and pull up on it a little bit. And now you can see that uh, we're just about there. Pretty close, pretty lined up. So, I mean, this is close enough. So as the sun falls towards the west, then I just hit the button and make it go west. And as you can see, that shadow moves around. I want to go west. See, as you can see, the shadow just keeps on moving. And you can come out here throughout the day and check it. And we can stop it anywhere you want. And right now we need to go east. We'll get it right at the sun, and then we'll stop. So that's about all there is for 
for tracking the sun. Of course, you could use a, a set up a self tracking. I used that for a little while, and it kind of failed on me, and so I just kind of hooked up the uh, actuator box and and uh, come out here throughout the day and. Once in a while, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just set it ahead of the sun a little while, and then later on, I'll set it ahead of the sun again, and it makes it really handy. So that's where the stars and the shadows come in. That's how I find uh, some good, true tracking. So thanks for watching. I hope it's a thumbs up, and if you like it, Thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again.